Hi everyone and welcome to another of my videos. Well, I am really excited today to review the new Natasha Denona pastel palette. And if you want to see my makeup look and want to hear my thoughts, then please keep on watching. This is the newest palette from Natasha Denona and when I saw it online, I needed I needed it. It looks beautiful. It does have 15 shades. Let me show you how the packaging looks like. It's that regular. It, this is a smaller version of palette. Those small that um, are a little bit cheaper. I haven't even touched it or I haven't even swatched it. I just wanted to show you how stunning it is. Looks beautiful. Perfect for the spring perfect for the summer. So I'm going to use it today. And as my base, I'm going to go in with, with Juvia's, Juvia's Place um, Prep and Prime Eye Primer. And this is in shade one, I think. Yes, shade one. So I'm going to use that because it does have some pigment. And I am going to set just a little bit this base, hopefully it will, or the pigment will show on my eyelid. So I usually set my base with some primer. That's why I want to do, or primer powder. That's why I want to do that too today, uh, because I usually do that. So, and that makes my eyeshadow less longer. Uh, but I am really excited to try this out. And hopefully the pigment will show. I know I assume that these are pigmented and of course they are pastels, which means they are not going to be um buildable, I mean, and too pigmented. They're going to be pigmented, but you know they're soft shades, so it is that going to be exactly that on the eyes. So I'm going to set just a little bit. I actually had some makeup on earlier today. I went to my hairdresser. This morning it's Sunday when I filmed this. I already have pre-filmed videos, so you're going to see my hair a little bit different. But I went to my hairdresser today and colored my hair, and I really like this dark brown color. So okay, we set this. Let's go in. I am going to try a couple of shades actually, and it's hard to me to see what I'm going to start with, but I do want to go in with the Bora. That's this darker shade here. I'm going to use this mirror too. Oh, satisfying. I love this mirror. So let's go in with Bora. This is like that creamy matte colors that I love from Natasha Denona. Definitely creamy and pigmented. This is going to look funny. I have, ne I have never you did. I have never done anything similar to this. So we'll see how this is going to turn out. But I just want to experience, and I'm not going anywhere. It's actually late. I just want to try as many colors as possible in this palette. So let's play with it. Maybe it's not going to be a wearable look, but it's going to be um, a look to see the colors. But I'm going to wear it to work tomorrow. And of course, I will film more videos with this palette. And I'm going to go in with Feather, this color down here, with the same brush. And Beautiful color. I don't know if you can see. But this is a beautiful, beautiful pink color. This is definitely blending like a dream. Okay, so I'm going to go in with Bora again, just deep up where we applied it before, just a little bit. Because I do want to connect it with another shade soon. Beautiful color. So I'm going to go in with the um, 
tulle, tulle, I don't know how to pronounce this color, but this one here. And we are going to connect previest shade. Want to, I want to try all of the colors if it's possible, but as many as possible. Oh, the, uh, these are really pastels and beautiful. So far so good. With the sand brush, I'm just cleaning it a little bit. I'm going to go in with the bubble, this blue color. To be a really nice blue shade. I'm going to, going to apply bubble here. Oh, this is definitely what's called the pigmented. These are pigmented even on top of powder. Just remember, I did set my base. Just going to clean up more going bore again. Just dark up here because I covered a little bit of this color. So I am going to go and use this duet shade here. Uh, this color here. Let's swatch it. Oh, wow. Oh wow, look at this color. Ooh, I love it. Let's see if it's going to be pigmented with the brush. This is maybe not the best brush for it, so I'm going to go in with my finger. It's beautiful, it's really beautiful, but I do need to find a better brush for it. Let's try another brush. This is one from Jacqueline Hill and Morphe, number 41. I don't know if we can pick up more pigment with this one. Yeah, definitely. I'm going to go back and forward with these colors that we used before and just, you know, to deep them up a little bit more. I don't know if you can see, but they are beautiful, really, really beautiful. Okay, so I do want to go in with hmm, Zest. Let's go in with the Zest, this green, yellowy color. And We are playing with colors today. And we do like, and what I like, they go so nice on top of each other. This one turns more yellow on the eyes than green. So it shows a little bit differently than in the pan. I really like that. So this is a really interesting look. I mean, it's definitely different, but I really enjoy it because it's that different. So I'm going to like take a, like a really, really small brush and I'm going to go in with this Limoncello, Limoncello, I don't know, oh my God, I'm killing the names. And I don't know if this is going to work with the brush, but oh yeah, it does. Oh, that's really nice. I don't know if you can see it. I feel like the camera doesn't really bring these to full capacity. So we are going to go in with Illusion, this bright color up here. Turns a little bit pink. So I'm going to go and finish my makeup look on the, my face and I'll be back to finish this makeup look and make it look more fancy. I don't know. See you soon. Okay, guys. So I have some lashes on and I applied some makeup and let's continue with the makeup look. 
going back to this beautiful this is actually the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill 42 brush that's 100 years old but I like it we are going to go in and uh, I want to hmm. no let's go and take uh, this kind of blood brush like I don't know what brand this one is I think makeup Mecca no menage manage manage menage I don't know how to pronounce this but I'm going to go in with Bora that dark purple that we had in the beginning and just maybe line because I don't have any eyeliner and yeah that looks nice and look, it's still really pigmented, even on top of these other colors. So I'm going in back with this brush, and I'm going to go take with that Bora. No, we're not going to take Bora. I'm actually going to take hmm, this color here. It looks like a satin shade. Let's swatch it. Yes, it's a really beautiful color. Look at that. Stunning. I'm going to go take that and apply it on the lower lash line really close here oh this is so stunning i hope you can see on camera something and then i'm going to go in with the uh, air this color here it's all very loud these are really pigmented beautiful I'm clean and I'm going to go in and blend every every edge down there with Bellini I think it's called this shade here oh, stunning color I'm going to go in with Kaya Cosmetics brush, uh, not brush, Kaya Cosmetics Cosmetic Next Level mascara. Okay, so for the lips, I did order the new lip liners from Natasha Denona, but they didn't arrive. But I do have those three beautiful colors and uh, new colors from I Need Rose Lipstick. I Need a Rose Lipstick. And I have in Peony, Kala, okay, Kala, I think it's pronounced, and Daphne. So I know which one I will use. Let's go in with Peony. I don't know if this is going to suit. Yeah, it's a beautiful color. Okay, let's go with that. And because I don't have, I did order, like I said, the, what do they call, lip liners, the same colors, but I haven't received them. So let's take another lip liner. I'm taking the Linda Halbe, Halbe's crayon, crayon in color, I think this is Dusty Pink. I think you're going to see this, the swatches of these lip liners, the new from Linda Halbe, on my next video. So. I filmed it, but I think I will apply it after this one. So let's go in with the lipstick. Mm. Oh wow, this is a beautiful color. I'm sorry if you can hear my kids. They are really, really loud. My lips are dry too, so... Okay guys, so this is the final look. I'm really enjoying this palette. This is a beautiful pastel palette. It's perfect for the spring. It's perfect for the summer. It's pigmented. It's there. It's easy to blend, easy to use. Of course, uh, they are really light because it is the pastel colors. And I think I used almost all of the color. I didn't use the mint frost and uh, I this color here and I didn't use this starlet here or the brink I think I didn't use like four colors in here but I used all of the others and I'm um, really enjoyed the makeup look so 
it is beautiful it's fun it's stunning and i really like it they're really pigmented and beautiful to use so we'll definitely continue using them i will also swatch all of the lipsticks and the lip liners when they arrive together with the other stuff that i bought but I just wanted to film this makeup look so you can see this palette and see here my thoughts and I really like it it's really beginner friendly and also beautiful pastel palette I don't have a lot of pastel colors but this really looks good okay guys let me know down below what you think about this palette what do you think about this makeup look is there any color in here that you want me to use and make do a makeup look with please let me know down below I would love to do so and guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell. And I see you in my next video. I love you all. Bye.